Hi, I'm Andy Reich. Welcome to the GTC Equipment Review Channel. Today we're going to be talking to DOP Mark Warmington about the Carpetino carpet light. Let's have a look what you think of the carpet light. Wow, nice red bag. It's a bit of weight in there. That's some kind of spigot. That's obviously European oh, power. Yeah. That's some kind of AC adapter with a D-tap. Okay, so that's obviously a frame. That's looks like a V-lock controller. And DMX as well. Oh, cool. So, oh, so it's quite slim. So that's what, maybe two foot by six inches or something? I have my own kit, camera kit, lenses mainly. In terms of lighting kit, I don't keep a load. I keep some Kina flows, some dados. Some, I've got some Aladdin Biflex, but it's not as flexible. That's very soft, very flexible. So it looks like there's some kind of diffusion sort of pre-built into it. Whereas mine, the, the, the LEDs are on the panel, and then you obviously have to put on your soft boxes, your diffusion, your air crates or whatever. So the idea obviously is that you would use this yeah. Frame, presumably. So that's magnetic at the ends to hold it in place. All looks quite straightforward to assemble. I would say the Aladdin stuff that I have is great. It folds down nice and small, but it's quite time consuming to assemble. That's quite smart. So these are magnetic. They just pop straight onto that and it's already stuck. Okay, and then this, looks like these three guys go in here and then presumably some kind of twist. I'm guessing this bracket must be for the controller. Yeah, so that slots in there, a piece of Velcro to stop it falling out. That's quite neat. Yeah. Yeah, and then we've got uh, V-lock. can go push this button once for on and off to standby mode. So I can see that being quite handy. So it's obviously by color We go down to 2.8 and it looks like it goes up to 6,000 Kelvin. So that's full range of by color What's the output? 1,100 Lux at one meter, 3,400 lumens. It's about what you'd expect, I guess. It goes in increments of 1% in the, on the dimmer as well. I find I tend to use these for night scenes quite a lot. My main issue with the Aladdin kit is the minimum dim is actually not minimum enough. So 10% on the Aladdin is still quite bright. If I wanted this on, a, on the end of a pole, that I would, that cable is rather short, but I'm assuming they do an extension, then I would take the controller and the V-lock, send that over here somewhere, you know, with the operator. That would be nice and lightweight. But yeah, if you're on a, on a stand, that's nice that it's all quite self-contained. You don't have cables hanging down. That's all quite neat and tidy. And you've obviously the DMX control if you need to make adjustments wirelessly. Yeah, that's quite, quite neat. Feels quite sturdy, quite self-contained. I think it's probably a good idea now if we go and do some practical tests. Let's do it. I would say pros, we're looking at ultra flexibility. Squish it into kind of any configuration you want it. These eyelets are quite nice. Anything that'll fit in there, you can basically hang, hang the lamp up, which is quite nice. And picture hooks, nails and walls. I think the minimum output is a, quite a plus point for me. So this goes down to 1%. If you look at the cable here, that just runs into the end of the mat. So it's completely flat at the back. So if you want to lay it against a wall or on a table, it will sit totally flush like this. Build quality as well, I think it's very well built. It seems very strong. It does, yeah, yeah. I mean, this, whatever this kind of nylon is, is, yeah, I think you'd have a very hard time ripping a, or tearing that, it feels pretty durable. There's a little warning on the back with raindrops. Definitely not waterproof. Price-wise, yeah, I would guess you wouldn't be getting a huge amount of change out of maybe a thousand euros. It's actually 1,799 euros. Okay, so yeah, it's not So cheap. it's a quite a lot more than I thought it would be. What's the CRI? The CRI is 96. Which is decent, you know, I think they say 95 and below is undesirable. I hate to be negative, but I think the price is probably the main downside. I feel like it's, you know, this is always going to be a light that you're going to add to, a, you know, an existing inventory of lights. You're not going to just go out and buy this and sort of go, well, that's going to do X, Y and Z for me. It's a little extra handy thing to have in your back pocket when you need that little bit of extra light for something. So I think that's quite pricey for something of this nature. Flexibility, build quality for me is, is excellent. 
gets the thumbs up from me. Yeah, it's a double thumbs up. Join us back here again for another GCC equipment review.